What's up? Hey guys, it's Yvonne. In this video, I want to answer the question, what is the best way to promote affiliate products online? This is also one of the most common questions you'll see uh, in the online mar marketing world asking about how do I sell this product? How do I sell ClickBank products, you know, Max Bounty products? And I want to share with you what worked based on my own personal experience, how I was able to personally capitalize using this method and uh, based on my observation of some of the top marketers and top companies worldwide. So I'll get I'll get into that um, into a bit more detail. But basically, let's start off with this kind of um, basic method of promoting affiliate products, which is you get a traffic source, say, you know, Bing ads, Google ads, Facebook ads, which is what we've been covering in my other videos. Um, and you send it straight to the affiliate offer. Now, this is the quick and easy, you know, get done approach. It's great but it's not really a long-term result so if something happens with that company that you're promoting if they close down or they shut off their affiliate program or who knows what happens or they change their terms you're done with that company you can no longer send traffic straight to their page you need to find another company if that's the case or find another way of doing it so the idea is it's not a long-term solution and you don't have a lot of control. So if you maybe disagree with some of the things the companies are se selling or, or doing, you can't really do anything about it. So here is what I do recommend you do. And here is the what, what I think is the best way to promote affiliate products. You bring traffic to your landing page. You gather people. You gather an email list. And from there, you send people to the uh, sales page. So as you can see, there's this little spot in between where you can gather and you can have your audience. So this counters exactly the previous issue we've had of um, you not having enough control and it being a short-term solution. Because now if you have an email list, you can keep selling to them and you have your own business now. And that's how you can sell your product. This is the basic idea. Uh, you have emails, right? So you will have an autoresponder sequence targeting those people that signed up. So what you do is you send people to your landing page. You get them to sign up, put in an email, say, for example, hey, would you like to, you know, do this, this, this before sending them to the actual sales page? And if, if in order for them to say yes and go to the next page, they have to input their email. And that is what you use. That email is your business after you gather tons of them you can send tons of email and 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 you can uh, send a bunch of different products even if that affiliate offer for instance will no longer be available so this is basically how you would do it this is the template for the, the the best way for promoting affiliate products uh clickbank max bounty all that stuff so what do you write in the email so this is the key right um this is the challenge for most people and this is what will actually get you to sell the goods because nowadays um, it's not as easy anymore to just get people to buy something right away so it's a short-term solution because they only buy one thing and that's it they're gone but it's also not as easy because some of the things out there you know people are more wary uh, than they were in the past um, people realize that some of the things are scams and they they want to trust that source first and how do you build trust you create emails so what you do in these emails is you provide, you try to provide as much value as possible. You, um, you give them something first. So Gary Vaynerchuk, uh, he, he, he had a book where he wrote, what was it? Like three, three left hits and then a hook, something like that, where basically you offer, um, you offer three days of value before actually promoting your product. Now, what I do is I actually promote my product every day, but I tie it into something valuable for the person and I say, hey, here's how my product can help you. So you teach them something new. So if it's a weight loss product, for example, you can uh, maybe give them some PDF with the top five ways to do this, the top six ways to do this. Uh, try to make it as interesting as possible. Try to uh, gain their attention. Don't make it boring and dry and say, hey, uh, here's the, 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 three day, uh, the three ways to do this and then just list them out. Okay, that's pretty boring. Make it interesting, tie it in the form of a story. So um, Dan Kennedy, one of the greatest copywriters in the world, one of his um, kind of best stories that, that, that comes to my mind, I'm pretty sure it's Dan Kennedy, um, is where he was promoting the Wall Street Journal. And what he did there is he, he started off by saying, there were these two men 
they both went to the same middle school, same high school, same college, but one of them was a manager of a company, the other was a boss of a, of a multi-million dollar company. And then he kind of converged and said, you know, what's the difference? And the difference was that one of them, that multi-million dollar CEO, he, uh, he bought and read the Wall Street Journal and the other one didn't. And you know, this is, this is kind of a more simplified story. It doesn't really offer any value. It's just something entertaining. But notice how it gathered the attention, right? It said, hey, there's these two men. Why are they so different? It makes something, it, it makes you want to read it and it makes you interested in it. So if you can combine that interest with something that's actually valuable, like saying, hey, you know, uh, studies have shown or, or you know, it, it's, it's a fact that if you keep up to date with life events, with financial events, um, you will be smarter and, and you will um, grow personally by 1% every, every month. Something like that. That's just some bullshit that I made up. Uh, but you get the idea. If you can back that up with something true and le legitimate with some value, you couple that with something interesting, that's going to make for a really interesting email that people are going to read. Now, um, you want to separate out each sentence. So there's probably going to be a ton of information you have. When I write my emails, I separate out each line I write like in a different paragraph. So if I say, uh, you know, here are the three ways to do this, that's going to be one line. Then the first thing you want to do is that's going to be a second line. And then you separate that into into all different paragraphs to make it easier to read. So um, the bigger the kind of aha moment in the emails, uh, the more the audience will trust you. So I've tried this from experience. There are some uh, products on ClickBank that give you PDFs and that give you information, but the stuff there is so obvious. Okay, so let's take a look at the three-week diet. Three-week diet, two-week diet, right? Uh, I'm not I'm not bashing on the product. I'm just saying that some of the PDFs that are provided there, um, they're they're extremely uh, extremely simple and kind of really obvious. So some of the things um, that are talked about in the PDF, right, to give out in, in emails is like, uh, you need to exercise or you need to do this or hey, studies have shown that um, to build a habit, you need you need several weeks worth of doing something. That's pretty obvious. That's, to me, not really valuable. I wouldn't really trust the person that's sending me those emails. So what you want to do is you want to find as valuable information as possible. So people say, oh, wow, that's crazy. I didn't know that. Then they're going to, to trust you more. Maybe they'll do the research, but they'll say, hey, you know, this person isn't bullshitting me. This is pretty interesting. So you want to try to make it as uh, complicated um, in terms of not, not as obvious for the people when you're sending the emails. That's what's going to provide the most value. Um, so like I mentioned here, don't put down obvious information. Um, and one of the things that I found was really beneficial for me is tying in other upsells and other products in those emails. So, you know, let's let's talk about back to that story about the Wall Street Journal. So let's suppose I'm promoting the Wall Street Journal in that case. Um, what I could also say on the way is, hey, um, you know, on the way to becoming uh, a, a, a CEO, this person also, um, he also um, was eating these donuts every single day. Boom, I just sold donuts, okay? So you can kind of um, find things that relate to your topic and juxtapose them and put them together and talk about them and say, hey, uh, by the way, here's also what he did. If you want to check it out, click here. So so that's what you would do. Hey, here's the type of donut this SEO, uh, I, I keep saying SEO, it's CEO. Uh, I keep messing it up with search engine optimization, but uh, you can say, here's this donut that this uh, CEO used to always eat every morning. Click here if you want to check it out. Boom. You actually, th there are people that will be clicking it. I know from experience when, when I was promoting some products, um, I would promote products that are similar, similar and related to whatever I'm talking about. And people would click it and they would buy it and they would check it out. Okay, so definitely you 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 want to have some kind of tracking software to be able to track all those clicks on all those links. I use Click Magic. Um, it doesn't matter what you use really. Um, but point is, every single time you have these emails, uh, you want to be able to have some kind of tracking to be able to determine where people clicked and what they clicked on, so you can optimize it. Um, one last thing I want to mention about emails: uh, never consider your audience to be stupid. Uh, what sometimes what 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 happens is you get some of this really simple information online, such as you know 
some uh, affiliate programs, they'll, they'll give you some emails that are saying like, hey, um, give this people, uh, give these people this email. And the, the, the email is going to say, um, hey, did you know that uh, you can save, you know, $50 or whatever, or you can um, gain 50 pounds of, of, of uh, muscle in two weeks? Uh, well, check out this program, buy this program, it's going to help you. Boom. Like, no one's going to click that. <laughs> right that's just it offers no value it's um it's just there's there's no content there if you want to send out those emails you need to have a really big brand and people really need to know you if you're sending cold traffic to uh to your landing page and then sending them that email no one's going to convert no one's going to buy you people are going to identify that as scam and spam right away because it doesn't make sense if you're targeting a cold audience again as you know mostly on my channel we've been doing bing ads google ads facebook ads uh, you want to provide some value before you take and before you ask them for something. So like I mentioned in my emails, I normally propose a bunch of stuff in every single email, but I also offer value and I, and I say how that product relates to that specific story or that specific case that I mentioned. So this is basically what I wanted to, sh to show you guys. Um, this whole template should be kind of the optimal template. And if you go online and you try to sign up to really anything, anything notice how every single site 99.9% .9 of the sites will ask you for an email notice if you want to buy something they will never say hey enter your credit card goodbye they will always ask for your name your email your information because they want to squeeze as much money as possible now from your point of view don't don't think of it as squeezing money think of it as offering as much value to the customer as possible okay so in those emails um where you're saying hey this person also uh bought this these types of cookies or this type of food on his way to work to become an, a, a, a ceo hey that's damn useful that's that's pretty cool information some people may be interested and some people may buy you're not squeezing money out of them you're offering them something useful so when you're grabbing this audience and you're creating an audience list, you are um, giving them something useful permanently. That's good. Your audience will thank you for giving them the opportunity to add them to your email list. So don't think of it as, uh, you know, I'll only be promoting and marketing to these people so they can buy. Think of it as I'll be doing these guys a huge favor by identifying things that they could take value in and offering it to them okay so that's kind of this template i wanted to share with you guys in my opinion the best way to promote affiliate products sometimes you would want to go and use this way it's very quick it's very easy um but it's actually harder and harder now to simply do this it is much harder and for the amount of work that it takes you to do this it's probably not worth it uh, just because of the of the short term effects that it has. Okay, so that's basically it. Um, I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. I try to be as responsive as I can. Um, if you enjoyed this video or you you didn't enjoy, you know, uh, leave a thumbs up uh, or thumbs down. Let me know what you thought. I'd be interested to share your thoughts if this worked for you or not. Um, and otherwise, thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video.